current IDE um, basically has a blank screen with nothing on it. It's easy for me to use this particular um, editor application. Uh, but imagine I am, I'll be writing thousands of lines of code. Currently, I have no idea what line I am on. And imagine I have some kind of error. So I'm going to write a few lines of code here and just create a variable. Uh, I'll call that uh, boy. I'll say boy is 67 and say girl uh, is 86 and say man is 40 and say woman is uh, 50 of I mean I don't know it doesn't really matter what I say I'm just um, trying to give an example so say I print out boy and then I print out girl uh, and then I print out man my next step I print out boy plus man and then I go ahead to print out woman plus uh, boy and then finally let's intentionally cause an error here see what happens when I do this okay so let's save this and run this code and as you can see it says it gives me the result for the first one gives me the result for the second one the third the fourth the fifth and then on the sixth one two three four five six it says um, name this variable this name is not defined which is actually true now it says line 11 here this is actually what I wanted to um, show you. I have no idea what line 11 is, but imagine I have thousands of lines of code and my error log here is telling me uh, you have an error on line 500 and something. I would have to count each line, which is a serious problem in this uh, line of work. You don't want to waste time counting lines of code. That is not something anybody wants to do. So this is where we use uh, a well made IDE, an IDE that gives you ints, an IDE that gives you lines, uh, line number, and I personally prefer to use VS Code, mostly because it is easy to extend. I write, I write JavaScript, I write PHP, I write Python, and C++, and C Sharp, and I use VS Code for everything because it is easy for me to extend VS Code to write any of these applications, and I, uh, I any, any of these languages, and I don't have to uh, learn anything or any news, any special ID just to write uh, a particular language. And so I highly recommend VS Code. If you do not want to use VS Code, it is also fine. However, I recommend you use an ID that gives you all the features I'll be outlining in, in VS Code right now. Uh, but let's firstly create a folder. Uh, okay, you know what? I'm going to create a file and just say print new file. Of course, this is not saved yet, and I don't need to terminate. I make that error sometimes. And while I try to save, I will go to my desktop. I will make a new folder and say Python class. And go into that folder and save this hello.py. Uh, and so now that I've saved it, you can see the color obviously changed. And then I'm just going to close this. So let's run this code and see what happens. I'm going to say run code. And you say I have my new file printed. So let us bring this here and run the code again. And as you can see, this says this is not defined and it's on line 11. Now it is easy for me to find line 11 and change this to so the correct name and then run the code again. And obviously the error is now gone so this is one of the key advantages of using um, this kind of ID an ID that provides you a line uh, line numbering another thing you will notice when I tried to print out a you can see it's giving me different words that start with what I'm typing right now so it's basically going to give you what is called quote code inting or code completion so it's going to give me hints as to what I might be thinking of writing it makes me write code even faster because I do not have to write the entire thing imagine I write P and then I just I just select if I can only <laughs> write it properly I just select 
and that makes me write faster rather than coming here and I have to type the entire thing before although this actually gives me some uh, kind of definition but still it is not going to be fast enough uh, for most developers and so this is why we use this kind of id look for an id that gives you line numbering look for an id that gives you code completion code inting and obviously an id that gives you proper error messages an id that gives you code highlighting too now you can see different highlights here um this this is called a variable we've not gotten to discussing variables yet but just ignore it if you don't know what that is boy here is a variable girl is a variable you can see variables have the same color uh, code uh this is a number it has the same color this is a number it has the same color as the other numbers so let's create a new variable now and say um club and just say new club house and as you can see this particular variable has the same color as the rest but the 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 thing i'm storing in this variable has a different color because data type is different also we have not talked about data types but do not worry about it as we move along i'm going to be discussing it the focus of this current um, discussion is ids i need you to decide on the kind of id you want to work with you need to work with an id that provides you the things i've already mentioned 